everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Harry Potter Wisdom World collection brought to you by Incredibilge. Yes, this is the other one that I bought from Vinted uh, for only £2, which is really, really lovely. Um, and it's the uh, Dobby. Um, and the first impressions I got when I saw this with this sort of like blocked out section here, I thought of Okie Doak from, you know, Okie Doak in... Uh, um, I think the TV show was called Okido, but it used to go Okido from the da 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 Mr. Okido. It was like a kids show many years ago, but that's the sort of impression it gave me. Um, now there's very many of these, um, as you can see. Um, where is the page I'm looking for? That's the one I'm looking for. So there's loads of different ones. Obviously, that's got nothing to do with Harry Potter, but I've got Agrila. Aragog. I want to get Buckbeak if I can and the Golden Snitch but now seeing that fish I really like the look of that. <laughs> so let's get into the package that we've got. Really lovely packed because obviously as you see you've got the uh, the wood and then the book sort of holds it in and this is our Dobby section here so as you can see it says Dobby and you've got all the bits and bobs in there. When I was reading Aragog, they did say that there's some spares in here, but look how groovy that is. Look, the little hands here and the arm. Really, really cool. I'm looking forward to this. The head, that's probably going to be the body section, but we will be doing this on the channel very, very soon. So that's Dobby. And then next we've got the book itself. This book looks good, too good to get, uh, you know, disposed of. But as we've all booked some um, magazines, I do read and chuck away. I'm not the type of person that reads over and over again. Um, once I've read it, I've read it, and then it's gone for good. Damn the shredder in the shoe. <laughs> uh, the introduction there, so a little Dobby there, where he meets Harry Potter in the hospital. Various different um, plasticine moulds there by the looks of it. Oh my God, long snout or what? <laughs> it's got long gunk. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, model house elf. Really, really uh, life looking that is over there. And then it looks like they've got some sort of puppetry going on there because he's wearing sort of like, I think that's probably a puppet actually. And uh, there we go, Warwick Davis there. I think Warwick Davis played him. Um, not obviously Dobby, but the guy that was sitting next to him. So as you can see, all about very special effects there and stuff. Really, really fantastic. Then we've got about the creature. I used to have a golem statue years ago, but then I got rid of it. Um, didn't really like it, it was freaking me out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do believe Dobby, is it Dobby or Gollum? They crop up, Gollum was from Lord of the Rings, but I think Gollum crops up in a different film as well. He's in a few different films. So all about the makeovers, beautiful passing there. So I think that's where Dobby dies maybe. Um, and yeah, so yeah, as you can see, there's the uh, uh, the headstone there. Here lies Dobby, a free elf. And as you can see, that is what it's going to look like. It looks a bit off-putting, I'll be honest with you, because I, I really don't like this big bulky body to it. Um, and then you've got like the head doesn't, it seems like proper 3D, but obviously there's the description if you want to paint it for yourself. But that's all about Dobby. Now, I will be doing... If I can, I would like to do, where is it? It's on the back there, it teaches you how to do it. So it's really easy, you don't need glue or anything. It's just literally punch out, build an interlocking mechanism that locks the wood together. So as you can see, no glue tools needed. But I'm really now drawn to that fish. That fish looks lovely, um, really, really lovely. It looks like an angel fish, but uh, yeah, we'll be doing this on the uh, channel very soon. So I hope you like that video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you want to get this for yourself, check out Incredibles. The works, all vintage. There's loads of people on there that might sell you them. But the woman I got, I think I paid this and Aragog for £2 each. Like, she literally wanted £2 for both of them. So I was really happy with that. Um, and then it says a behind the scenes there. But this will be coming to the channel very soon. I cannot wait to get into it. It's really easy to punch out as well. You don't need a craft knife or anything. It comes out really loose. And uh, yeah, can't wait to do it. See you next time. Bye.